Hey everybody, it's Thursday, January 12th, 2023. We're supposed to be, well, we should be at Emily's parents right now, <clears throat> and then heading to Fort Lauderdale tonight, but Emily got really sick yesterday. She got food poisoning, so we had to cancel that trip. So either way, we're still here at the farm, obviously. Um, today, what I'm gonna work on is the drainage ditch and trying to clean up some of that. So. What you're looking at, this is the, the plat layout for the whole neighborhood. <clears throat> and here we are, track five, Deer Run Farm. We didn't name it, it was already named for us. But you see this old checkered or dotted line, I guess? That is a storm ditch. <clears throat> now it's not really well marked on here because where we're gonna go and where I'm gonna show you, where this corner is, it says it's in from our property line, but as it turns out, I think they just kind of penciled this thing in. That corner is actually right on our property line. So that's what we're gonna take a look at. So we're up here at the northern part of the property and uh, you really don't see a lot of these, but I was walking up here towards the uh, horse farm because an ambulance was going up there and just, I don't know, curiosity. I don't know where it was going. But I'm walking up our driveway, and uh, well, here's one of those sticks that you don't want to accidentally pick up. Not sure what he is. He's got a skinny head, so I'm sure he's probably not venomous because you know, if they've got that diamond shaped head, that's where they're dangerous. But um, I about stepped on this guy, and you know, I thought it was a stick. It's obviously not a stick um, pretty cool you don't see a lot of these um, snakes in general out here but uh, seen some black snakes but this is the first one that I don't know I mean it kind of looks like a copperhead but I'm not a snake expert so I don't know watch where you're picking up sticks and watch where you're stepping out here pretty cool Just to revisit this guy, Emily uh, did a Google search. She's pretty sure it's a, what's called a pine snake. Um, this is the entrance, our real entrance, or the, the main entrance to the property. Uh, you can see that this guy is perfectly camouflaged in the sand and in the leaves. And that's how I almost stepped on him. He had his head up just a minute ago, but Emily said he's not venomous, which you know, is what I thought anyways, but again, you don't see this very often here, or at least this is, I think, the third snake I've seen in seven months, so you don't see too many of them. Um, didn't really see where the ambulance went. I didn't really walk that far. You know, not, I'm not going to say that I don't care, but I, I, I don't need to know. Um, but curiosity every now and then gets the best of you. So, this uh, storm ditch, when we bought the property, we didn't even really know it was here. Um, we had a good idea that there was water drainage here somewhere because of the culvert up there, but really had no idea where it went because most of this was destroyed. Um, the ditch that should have been here was almost completely flat. Um, I've had to rebuild it. This is the first place I put in a culvert. So this was my first attempt at a culvert. Um, and it's done great with the rain that we've had. So once rainy season starts sometime in March or April, we'll see how it does. Um, I've been putting dirt here because it started to get a little thin on top of the culvert. So when we're box blading, it... Uh, it hit the top of the culvert, so I had to add some more sand, some more dirt, and good thing we got plenty of it down there. So where we're walking is over to that corner that I was pointing out on the flat map. This storm ditch goes right down here. 
And again, I think our property line is right here in the middle of it. There was a culvert here. I'll we'll probably end up finding another snake here. But they had used concrete bags to try to build some kind of a wall here. There is a culvert under there. And the way I know it, one, is because you can see the other side of it better. But there is a little bit of a hump here. Now again, the company that we bought this from, you can really see how they just destroyed all along this area, which was a storm ditch. And their big trucks just kind of pushed in the dirt. There's trees, debris, logs, all kinds of stuff in there. One from what they did, but two also just because it hasn't been maintained. Uh, one of the kind of things I got to discuss with the Homeowners Association when we have our meeting next month is who's really responsible to maintain this because in the homeowners covenants it says that the homeowners association is supposed to maintain it so i'm going to try to clean some of the mess up um, which you can see is pretty extensive um, but as far as rebuilding this and fixing it you know, they should have held the other company responsible. We had no, this was so overgrown, we had no idea this was back here. Um, until we got the mulching guy out here and he cleared pretty much everything from here back here to where we could see it. But it was so overgrown and thick and full of dead stuff. Just really had no idea what was back here. So, it's my project. It's something that I've really need, been needing to do. But, uh also something I really don't want to tackle because if you guys think about it this thing goes all the way up there and then makes a turn and uh, that little storm ditch down there I say that little one took about two months um, one of the things I'm having to deal with personally and uh, kind of life in general is that this is not a sprint this whole thing's a marathon and just do what you can do one day at a time and I don't know guy that's borderline OCD or whatever I don't know trying to get stuff done right away it is not not how you do it out here it's getting towards the end of the day probably didn't look like I accomplished much but I did clear out a lot of sticks and limbs and logs and just other debris that was in here um good thing i came up here because i left the loppers up here um but the wood pile built up so now after clearing that out also moved some buckets of dirt we can eventually start on this side of it and then the dreaded downhill slope over there which is really where they tore it up but that'll be another day out here at Deer Run Farm.